So last night I was just chilling on my phone, scrolling through some Twitter, and I saw a tweet from Nintendo saying that Pokemon Cafe Mix was available in that moment. And I was very confused because, I don't know, the timing of these things are always just strange. It was supposed to release yesterday and then they said it's coming tomorrow. I guess technically it was tomorrow in other places. I'm over here in Mountain Time, so that makes sense. But that did give me an opportunity to check it out last night and today. And I think this is about pretty much what you'd expect from just looking at the game. What's going on you guys? My name is Ryan, AKA Arpit. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure and hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get into basically what is Starbucks Pokemon. Now let me first say that I did record some Switch gameplay, but you can only play this game on the Switch in handheld mode. So I wasn't really able to get any good footage. I don't know, it just didn't look very good. So I did end up recording all this footage that you're seeing off of my phone, but there really isn't any difference in graphics or anything like that. So you can definitely still get an idea whether you think you're gonna play this on the Switch or on your phone. So I'd probably describe Pokemon Cafe Mix as sort of an easier version of Candy Crush, I guess. Um, I use Candy Crush because that was a game I played a lot uh, even fairly recently I've played it. So essentially the Pokemon are the customers and the more orders that you complete with the same Pokemon, eventually they'll join your staff and they'll help you out and be playable characters. So you can tell how close you are to those Pokemon being staffed by the star indicator above the Pokemon. Each level is an order that you're completing, and so with each level, you choose a Pokemon leader, and they have a unique skill and specialty that can help you complete the specific objectives that you need to complete in the next level. Now before you start your order, a recommended Pokemon will be shown to better help you choose which Pokemon you should use if you're not really sure which one you think you should use. You also have access to different boosters that you can use at any time, there is some that you can use before the level so that they're available right when you start, or you can use different boosters that are available during the level as well. Now, each level has certain objectives, which can be anywhere from like a combination of getting a certain amount of points to clearing a certain amount of sugar cubes, clearing a certain amount of honey, those kind of things. And basically, you combine the same Pokemon to chain combos and complete those objectives. And if you complete that order, then the Pokemon that's ordering gains stars, like I mentioned before. And you can move on to the next order. You can't ever go back and complete a previous order. It kind of just throws you into the next one. When you complete the order, you're also awarded with a certain amount of acorns, which is kind of like the currency that's used in the game. Acorns can be used to purchase extra moves at the end of a level. Sometimes you're so close that you just need those two or three moves and that's really where acorns come in handy Now you have five lives and if you're unable to complete all of the objectives during an order You lose a life that will replenish after 30 minutes I like this because there's a lot of games that use like energy like a lot of free games that use what's called energy And so if you go into a level that like uses up your energy and that's not what this game is so if you never lose a level, then you could pretty much play this game however long you want. And I can honestly say that I've played about three hours um, on the Switch and a couple hours on my phone, and I've been able to play it without taking a break or like without having to replenish all of my lives. So I've not completed all of the puzzles on the first try, um, and sometimes I did have to use some boosters just to help me out, but I have made it about 60 levels on my Switch, and I, I don't really feel like it was super hard to do that. The game does offer specific challenges to complete, and if you can complete all the challenges on what's called like a challenge card, then you earn a pretty decent acorn reward. The more orders that you complete, the more your cafe expands, and the more Pokemon come to visit the cafe. Now this is probably the question many of you are asking, and that is how free to play is this free to play game? And actually I'd say this game is super free to play friendly. 
Really, the only reason you would need to spend any money, like real money, is to gain lives, which I've never had to do. You can buy acorns, which I've never had to do either. Or if you wanted to buy boosters, you would need to spend money on that as well. So in that aspect, this game is really great. The only thing in the game that I've found that you cannot just earn by just playing is a special Pikachu that's available for purchase. It's $3.99 and it comes with acorns and boosters as well. Now, if you end up downloading this game, keep this one major, major thing in mind. So you cannot transfer the progress between the Switch and your phone. Now you can transfer it like between Switch IDs or you can transfer it between two different phones or something like that. But you cannot switch it or move your save data from your Switch to your phone and vice versa. And I definitely figured that out the hard way because I was playing on my Switch and I thought to myself, actually, I really think I'd, I'm going to be playing this on my phone. So when I tried to transfer the save data, obviously that wasn't an option. So definitely, definitely just try and figure out as soon as possible if you think you're going to play it on your Switch or your phone because, like I said, you can't move it over. So should you download it? And this is different from my other reviews typically because I usually like to compare prices and things like that. Free to play games can always be tricky because a lot of the times they won't show you at the beginning of the game really how money dependent it can be. So you may even play a couple hours and you can find that, oh, now that I've hit this point, I either have to wait, you know, a certain amount of time before I can progress or I have to put money in in order to upgrade things like cards or characters, something like that. But luckily with this game, this game doesn't really have any of that. And like I said, I've definitely put in multiple hours to try and find a point like that where kind of money does have to become the option in order to progress. But yeah, like I said, this game really doesn't have that paywall. Now the difficulty is not really super challenging. Like once you've got the hang of it, you got the hang of it. It does grow in difficulty in later levels where I've actually, you know, lost lives or how to use boosters or things like that. So really the difficulty isn't something that's ever a big challenge. I think the main reason I did enjoy playing this game was just seeing the new Pokemon show up. I just really like the art style. I think it's super adorable. It's really cute. So for me personally, it's kind of a game that it's a play a couple minutes a day kind of game. But honestly, uh, that was pretty much what I was expecting. And I don't really think it's misleading from the gameplay that you like that they advertise with. So I think the biggest thing with this game, like I said before, is if you think you are going to want to play this game and you've downloaded it and you're enjoying it, just make sure that you have it on the platform that you want to play it because of that save data. But I do think this is a game that's worth checking out, especially if you love Pokemon. This is a game that you can definitely play without having to spend any actual money and you can actually get through the entire game. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure and hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new here to the channel so you don't miss out on any Nintendo Switch content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.